you think it starts off in an open city? Uh, play play a really good game. We came out on fire first. Uh, kind of playing with fool's gold. Um, came out, couldn't miss, and had a little momentum shift at, at the end of the first half. And then we just had to come out second half and close the game out. Great game. Have you been um, yeah, can you just sort of walk us through um, the final second, sort of what the intention was for that last play before you got fouled? Um, we drew something up just to get a, uh, give me a handoff, coming back in bounds, get downhill, make a play. Um, same situation from the East London West game, just on the other side of the floor. Um, get downhill and make the right play. And both games that tend to happen, um, like East Illinois, drew two. Uh, Spin behind me and keep it just in the for a uh, jump shot. He made, he made it, and then this game um, got to the rim, got fouled, and got close to the rim. Especially down one, I mean, with your hand toward the basket, are you thinking contact, drop contact, try to get the sure. line? For sure. Uh, I'm thinking uh, get the basket first as initial thought, but um, if I can see some contact while doing that, then that's great. Go to the free throw, take my time on that. You said you got, I mean, you kind of said it was cool, goal at the beginning. Um, how, how do you, uh, obviously it's exciting when that's going on, but then how, how do you kind of recover in the second half when, you know, maybe things are balancing out? Just stay the course. Um, we, we talk a lot about keep chopping and stay the course, stay with your feet on it. And that's really all we had to do. We had to um, just keep playing our game. Same shots, taking the same good shots. They, they're not falling, they're, they're not going to fall. They just keep chopping away. How much did your veteran leadership play a part in that 21 point lead was going to be How much did that play a part in the role of keeping this in um, focus, maintaining, and then especially you know, coming down the clutch um, in the early game? Um, veteranship, they, they played, played a great part. Um, I would also say it wasn't just me. Uh, we had other veterans that was keeping the energy positive. Um, Chuck Champion, for instance, he just was staying positive. Every other, every other was talking like, just, just keep going, keep going. Uh, we're good, we're right where we want to be, just keep going, keep going. And um, last few seconds, it's just I've been in these situations before. Uh, just got to make a play. Uh, clock running down, down one, just got to make a play. Okay. Okay, just about everybody in the building, except the guys on the opposing bench, one of those free throws to go down. But when you were raising up, did it almost get a little too quiet in the building? I mean, you could hear a pin drop when you let that first one go. Honestly, I was, I didn't even pay mind, I was focused on the rim. Um, I was in a similar situation against Harvard earlier in the season, and I missed the free throws. So I was just locked in on making them really. Uh, it was just me and the rim at that point. Uh, put in a lot of work with uh, my video coordinator, actually, um, KJ. And we shoot a lot of free throws. Uh, he told me, like, before the season started, even sometimes he told me that you be put in a lot of situations where you got to win the a lot of So we do a bunch of scenarios with uh, shooting free throws, and we pay off with it. So you guys have another one Monday, short turnaround. Um, how do you guys use tomorrow to, to make sure you're ready for, uh, for another one of these? Um, I'm, I'm really not sure the actual uh, plan for tomorrow, but I know that we got to get in, get our treatment, take care of our bodies, and probably won't go crazy because it's a quick turnaround, but we, we got to pay attention and focus the detail, and you know, that's it. Just take care of our bodies and stay locked in on the go. Final question? No? Anything else? All set. Thank you, guys.